Engineering entrepreneurship is teaching students beyond the technical end of their studies to seek out opportunity, to deal with ambiguity, and to know the business fundamentals that they would need to create organizations. The entrepreneurship minor has been huge in introducing me to each level of a business and how it works together so that I'm, uh, I'm able to better understand how like my part as an engineer fits into the whole cycle. Entrepreneurship in general, no matter what major you are, is something that can be used uh, throughout your lifetime or your career because you need to be able to communicate with other people, collaborate, pitch your ideas, and uh, be able to get people to really stand behind them. The professors, you know, aren't only just great teachers, but they're also people who are actually entrepreneurs and have real world entrepreneurial experiences. I learned from people who actually went out, made their own startup and found success and failures and were able to teach me from their firsthand experiences just what makes a good entrepreneur. The university, especially over the last four years with Invent Penn State and the building out of the minor through all colleges has been tremendous. You can just feel the energy and the wind at our backs as the program is, is rising. You don't have to do the technical cluster if you're in engineering. You could do a more social cluster if that's something that you're interested in. The tech-based cluster has allowed me to design my future career by giving me the resources to be innovative and be creative and know that I'm not just stuck at a company at a, you know, a nine to five job every day. There is an entrepreneurial ecosystem at Penn State and in State College. And what we try to do is create student teams that can then feed into that ecosystem. As an engineer, now I don't have to just be in my little technical nook. I can understand from a whole project perspective. And that entrepreneurial mindset paired with an engineering mindset really makes for a great combination that can help you solve a wide variety of problems you wouldn't be able to solve with just one of those mindsets.